Here in this section, we are going to look at the authentications in Azure with the help of Terraform. So far, we have seen how do you declare the Terraform codes, variables, resource, and the other types. Now let's see how do you connect to your remote cloud providers. In this case, Azure, because we are willing to connect to, uh, we are willing to provision the infrastructure in Azure. So we'll see how do you connect to Azure from Terraform. So if, so if I go to the documentation in the Terraform, you'll see we have number of ways which you can use to authenticate to Azure from Terraform. So where one of the very first way is to use it through the Azure CLI. And that's the reason uh, at the beginning we have recommended to install the Azure CLI. Uh, you can use the Azure CLI to authenticate to Azure from Terraform. So basically you need to run one or two commands to authenticate. So I'll go to the, my Visual Studio code and I'll tell you what those commands are. So let me clear everything here. So very first command you need to run is Azure login. So once you enter, a, uh, you run this command, basically it will open a pop-up which you can, it will ask you for username and password for your Azure account or Azure subscription. And once you provide the details, you will be authenticated in the Terraform. So this is how it's going to ask for the account to use. So I'll choose my account and once it's successfully logged in and this is how you basically get an information that you have successfully logged in. Now if I go to AZ or show, I can use AZ account show to show the same, uh, get the same detail. Now considering if you are working with uh, Azure Terraform wherein the, you have access your same your ID which you are using to authenticate has access to multiple subscription. So you can use the Azure CLI command to set this access to a specific subscription. To do that you can use the Azure account set and then dash dash subscription and provide the ID of the subscription. Let's say in this case this is my ID. So I'll be providing the ID and this is how you set the ID and just to verify the uh, access you use the Azure account show just to make sure the subscription is set to you. Now you are good to go and connect to Azure subscription. Now the way Terraform works to that particular subscription is first of all let's say you have the Terraform Azure RM provider. Now within the provider you can specify uh, which subscription you can uh, you want to use your this this is the option number one so let's say now if i'm going to run uh, the code and if i'll create uh, the resource let's say for example if i'm going to run the terraform in it terraform plan initialization is completed now i'll run the terraform apply so it is asking for the information so I'll, if I provide the confirmation, basically now it's using my CLI credentials. Uh, the Terraform code is trying to connect to my Azure subscription and it will provision this particular resource group, which I can verify once the provisioning is going to be completed. So this is the way, uh, this is the one of the way uh, you can use the authentication to provision the resource. So let's verify if we have the resource create. We'll go to the resource groups, we'll see might take a minute or two to reflect here as we can see that this is our resource group which is just now we have created okay this is the option number one next option we have is to use the authentication with the client id secret or which he also says that uh, use the service principle to do that first of all we need to create a service principle so let's create a service principle in azure We'll go to Azure subscription, go to Active Directory, go to the app registration, make sure, sure you have the access to create the service principle. I'll call the Terraform, copy this application ID. I'll create a secret as well. So I'll be creating a secret. I'll copy the secret value. So this is what 
uh, these two values I'll be using to authenticate basically now the next thing which we need to do is this particular service principle needs to have access to our subscription and to do that we'll go to our subscription we'll assign access to that service principle so I'll go to access control add assignment role assignment I'll choose a role as a contributor then select and search for that service principle which we have created just now that's it the role assignment is completed now we have our role assignment as a contributor now we can use this client id secret because now i'm trying to run the apply uh, without the authentication so it says okay uh, you need to use the azure cli in order to run the account uh, in order to run the terraform apply okay now let's use the option number two which is using the okay now with the service sensible authentication if, if you look at the provider block you have the option uh, to define the service principle which is client id so i'm going to use the client id as a variable so these are the four variables which we are going to use obviously we are going to define a value before we define it let's declare the variables now these are our required variable values so let's now set the values to these variables now let's verify our execution uh, whether we are able to use these authentication mechanism so let's run the terraform apply let's run apply now okay so as we have seen that the the terraform is able to connect to our account and though we do not have any difference to apply at the remote location that's why it has not but we haven't received the error so this was the second uh, approach to authenticate now the third approach is to authenticate with the help of certificate uh, and service principle so how do you configure that you to do that you go to your service principle so here and then here you can attach a certificate and then you can use the certificate uh, to authenticate your uh, terraform code with the azure subscription next one is to use the azure use the manage identity uh, let's say if you are running a terraform code from a machine uh, which is azure virtual machine or a build agent then if you would like to uh, you, you, if you don't want to use the service principle because service principle has the secret uh, and uh, you don't want to compromise that particular secret so what you can do is you can run the terraform code from the virtual machine and that virtual machine can have the manage identity enabled as a true uh, manage identity setup and then manage identity can have the access to the subscription and this is how uh, you can run the terraform configuration authentication so these are the four different ways to authenticate with azure